Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Dr. Monica. Today, I'm here to present my poster on suspect on prospective cell phone poisoning against him. In this introduction, aluminum phosphate is a solid fumigant which has been extensively used since 1940s. It is easily available and it is and is purchased in some countries such as India on the trade name, for example, cell phones, quick phosphate, cell phone, and phosphate. Aluminum phosphate is available as in powdered form, cell phone, cell phone, tablets, three grams, with the trade names phosphatoxin, botoxin, or as pellets, 0.6 gram, quick phosphate, releasing one gram phosphate. Gas, gas. The tablets are green, brown, or gray in color, and each tablet contains 56% of aluminum phosphide and 44% of aluminum carbonate. The chemistry of aluminum phosphide, the toxic effects of aluminum phosphide are due to deadly phosphine gas related when it reacts with water or hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Actually, each 3 gram tablet uh, releases 1 gram of phosphine, and so each 0 0.6 gram tablet. Reduces 0.2 gram of phosphine gas on exposure to moisture and leaves behind a non toxic waste residue of aluminium hydroxide. In the case number one, a 42 year old male came to extend an emergency department in Russia Hospital in Georgia for the deleted risk of ingestion of unknown poison substance while working in three human data. Patient was succumbed to the poisoning few hours after admission and treatment. Dead body was brought to mortuary for post mortem examination. The apparent cause of death as the police inquest papers was cell phones ki boli khani ke karo. Autopsy findings, no external or internal injury was noted during the post-mortem examination, but mild cyanosis was present around lips and mouth. On internal examination, all abdominal organs were congested, stomach and its contents here. It will contain about 400 cc of brownish liquid material, and this mucosa was deeply congested and hemorrhagic at places. And the foul smelling garlic odor was present. Isla was preserved and sent for chemical analysis to Epicent. In the case number two, a 16 year female came to extend an emergency department at a tertiary hospital in Rotterdam with a little risk of ingestion of unknown poison substance at home in early evening hours. Patient was succumbed to poisoning few hours after admission and treatment. That body was brought to mortuary for post mortem examination. That the apparent cause of death as per police inquest paper was cell phones ki goli khani ke karan. In the autopsy findings, no external or internal injury were noted, but on internal examination, we found all abdominal organs were congested and stomach and its contained contain, contain about 100 cc of grayish, brownish, mucoid material, and the foul smelling vanity odor was present. Mucosa was deeply congested and hemorrhagic at places. And the list of was preserved and sent for chemical analysis to Ephesus. In the case number three, a patient 40 year male was admitted to emergency department at Tertiary Hospital in Norfolk with a little risk of ingestion of unknown poisonous substance at home during late night hours. MNC was prepared and gastric lavage was done. Patient was succumbed to poison few hours after admission and treatment. Dead body was brought to mortuary for post mortem examination. And the apparent cause of death as per police inquest paper was the same again, cell phones ki boli khani ki karo. In the autopsy findings, no external or internal injury was noted during the post-mortem examination. But on internal examination, we noted that the abdominal organs were just about congested, and the stomach and its contents contained about 200 cc of brownish liquid material. Had and the uh, mucosa was deeply congested and hemorrhagic at places, and a foul smelling vanity odor was present, and the vista was preserved and sent for chemical analysis to FSM. Conclusion in all the above three cases, in all the above three cases, uh, this aluminium phosphide. In all the work, we see aluminum phosphide was detected in activity sent to FSL. Males were affected more commonly than females. And a characteristic value odor was present in all the three cases. The above cases had a shorter period of survival. And the case fatality ratio has been escalating since the last decade. And the strict implementation, uh, so the measures are to be taken regarding the SNP, uh, so the measures, uh, the case fatality ratio has been escalating since the last decade. And then the need for strict implementation of nationwide pesticide regulation 
in view with restricting the availability of poison, being aware of its toxicity and providing through medical management in consultation with the regional or national or national poison control centers to further reduce the mortality due to aluminum phosphate toxicity as there is no antidote available presently. These are the references. Thank you very much.